world! Welcome back to another Pico Gym Workout Exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Reverse Engineering Challenge Vault Door 3. Let's get into it. This vault uses four loops and bite arrays. The source code for this vault is here, vaultdoor3.java. Alright, so for this one, I already have the code open over here in Visual Studio Code. And... and no. And we start off by, of course, defining a Vault Door 3 class. And then we instantiate a new Vault Door. Then we scan in our Vault password. Let's go ahead and try the functionality of this program real quick. And if we just type something random in, access denied, as a Vault should. So then it's substringing our user input with picoctf flag format, the length of it, and then the user input dot link minus one. Okay, so essentially our password will be the flag. And then it's checking our password and calling the check password function here. And if we scroll down to check password function, we can see that if the password dot length is not equal to 32, then return false. So what we need to do is have a password length of 32, but we still include the PicoCTF flag format that surrounds it because it's substringing it here. So then we have a buffer being defined, and then it looks like they're doing some scrambling here, and then finds a new string, and it compares the string of the buffer, which is derived from our input, and it compares it to this jumbled up string right here. Although you can kind of make out what looks to be like part of the flag, right? So basically we need to just reverse engineer and get this to be unscrambled so that it gives us our flag. And the easiest way to do that is just to submit this as the password for the program, because what it'll do is it'll basically pass this string through all these operations and re-unscramble the flag for us. If we were to input the flag correctly, then we would get this string out after going through these for loops. So let's go ahead and try that. And we'll do pico ctf, paste the, paste that string in, access denied. Oh, right. So when we do this, we actually want to go ahead and print the buffer here and I need to do print and to do system dot print dot is this stuff? no this system not out at print ln like so because now we'll be able to see what the buffer is after it goes through these character scramblings. So now we'll do that over again. Let's run that. And we'll do pico ctf oh, here, let me just copy this. Enter. And there you go. Our flag, well, our password ends up being just a simple anagram for you. And if we were to submit this now, oh, need to actually run it again. We were to submit this, you'll notice it says access granted and this string matches this string. So, nifty little challenge there. Let's grab the actual flag, and go ahead and submit that. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Alma Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.